Hello friends, welcome back. My name is PK. In this video, you will learn how to create this beautiful candle infographics chart in Microsoft Excel. As you are seeing my screen, we have here quarterly service level and we are displaying it on this candle infographics chart. This is dynamic chart. If we change the value of the service level, the chart will be changed accordingly. Now I will show you how we can create this in Microsoft Excel. So let's start without delay. Let's copy this data, press Ctrl C, add a new worksheet and paste that data here. First of all, we will add a support column that will be transparent area. Let's take the transparent area here. Okay, and that transparent area will be 100% minus actual service level value or you can use one minus this. Just fill this down. Let's go to the view and remove the grid lines from here. We will select this range. We'll go to the insert and we will insert a 3D stack column chart, this one. Just double click on the vertical axis. Now in the format axis, take the minimum value as zero, which is already there, but make it manual in place of auto. So let's put here one, which is 100%. Okay, let's close this. Now we will go to the chart element and we will remove the chart title, grid lines, and we will remove this vertical axis also. Select and press delete. Right click and go to the format data series. And here we will use slender, change the gap width and take around 70 or 60%. Now right click, go to the 3D rotation, change the by rotation as 10. Now we will fill the color. We will fill here some different color for each quarter. So double click on the first one, go to the format and fill here this blue color. In the second one, fill this green color. The third one, let's fill this orange color and fill here this purple color. Okay. Now right click on this transparent area, this top section, right click, go to the format data series, go to the fill and line, gradient fill. And we will choose only two stops here. The first stop, select the white color with 85% transparency. Second, just choose with the white color and take here around 70% transparency. Angle, just choose here zero. All right. So it's looking like the transparent area. Now we can remove the legend from here, select and press delete. All right, just right click, go to the 3D rotation, take the X rotation also 10 degree. All right. Now select the chart, go to the format and take the shape fill as no fill, shape outline as no outline. Now we will create few shapes. So go to the insert and insert a oval shape from here. Let's take this oval shape from basic shapes and just click here. So we have this oval shape. Go to the shape fill and take this fill, shape outline as no outline. Right click, go to the format shape. Go to the effects and here let's go to the 3D rotation and we will take a preset and from the perspective, let's take this one, which is perspective relaxed. Okay. And change the angle slightly here. Let's take 280 degree and uh, we will go to the 3D format and take the bevel and we will take this slant. Increase the height. Let's take around 11. Take this 14. Okay, so we have this safe here. Press Ctrl D to make this duplicate. And using the shift key and mouse, make it slightly smaller. And let's keep over this. All right, select both the shape together. Then we will change the material from here. So let's choose the first one, which is matte. Now we will select both the shape, right click, and we will make this group. We can increase the size slightly. We will delete this horizontal axis also and let's move this shape here like this. Right click and use send to back. Now we will change the size of this small ball. We'll make it slightly bigger. We will adjust this according to the chart. Let's keep this here. 
right click on the chart go to the format data series and change the gap bit take around 70 or 75 we will adjust this according to the shape okay so i think 8 90 or 100 percent will be the correct one so let's keep 100 percent okay so now it's looking perfect reduce the chart height slightly all right so our first shape is ready we will select this make this duplicate and let's keep this here we'll make slightly smaller both of the shape go to the format and change the color take this theme color or slightly darker one this one take slightly darker color of this theme so we will take this one select this shape press ctrl d and let's keep this here go to the shape fill and take this color press ctrl d and make the duplicate of this shape and let's keep this shape here right click and send it to back we will take this color here take this one go to the insert and insert this shape let's click here select the shape go to the shape format and click on this arrow and rotate this on minus 45 degree and just hit the enter okay let's pick this yellow handle and move here and make the whole shape slightly smaller like this and put this here go to the shape format and shape outline as no outline right click and go to the shape format and here go to the gradient fill and we will fill here this color and here let's take this red color and change the angle and let's take this linear down now go to the effects and here we will go to the glow take yellow color increase the transparency 40 percent and the size of the glow let's take only five point now we will go to the soft edges and we will use the second one which is 2.5 point all right now let's keep this here now make the duplicate of this and let's keep this here then keep this here and then keep this here now go to the insert and insert a text box drag a text box here and just select the text box go to the formula bar press equal to and select this service level value and hit the enter align this center and align this middle go to the shape format and shape outline as no outline shape fill as no fill now let's keep this here make it slightly smaller and let's keep this here we will take the white font this one make this bold make this duplicate and let's keep this here again make it duplicate and again make it duplicate okay select the second one and here we will connect with b3 the next one we will connect with b4 and this one we will connect with b5 select the first one go to the home double click on the format painter click click and click all right now make this duplicate and let's keep this here we will show the label of quarter so we will connect it with a2 and just hit the enter so this is q1 take the white font make it bold press ctrl d to make this duplicate and move this here this time connect with a3 make this duplicate and here take a4 make this duplicate and this should be a5 we will select the first one double click on the format painter just click click and click okay press ctrl a to select all the shapes and chart together right click and make this group so our chart is ready if we will change the value here we have used the rent between function you can put your original value it is getting changed all right friends so friends that is how you can create this beautiful infographics chart in microsoft excel friends i hope you have enjoyed this video if you like this video please hit the like button and please subscribe my channel to get the regular update of my videos Thank you so much for watching.